Today, we're diving deep into the ocean to check out some super scary sea creatures found on the beach. These beasts will blow your mind and give you some serious FOMO for missing out on their monster beach party. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this underwater adventure. So grab your sunscreen, some flip-flops, and get ready to be amazed. From the giant squid to the weird, uh, blob thing, here's the 20 biggest sea creatures ever found on the beach. <sighs> Number 20. Giant squid that appeared on one beach in New Zealand. Hold on to your tentacles, folks, because we got some seriously creepy and enormous news for you. Divers recently stumbled upon a massive squid washed up on a beach in New Zealand, and it's giving me major goosebumps just thinking about it. This thing is a true behemoth of the sea, with arms that could wrap around you like a cozy blanket, but trust me, you do not want to cozy up to this slimy beast. According to reports, this giant squid is around 4 meters long and weighed a whopping 200 kilograms. That's heavier than a grand piano. And let me tell you, these guys aren't your typical cute sea creatures. With those massive tentacles and bulbous head, they're a lot more like something out of a classic 50s B movie. I mean, can you imagine swimming in the ocean and having this thing swim past you? No, thank you. Now, you might be wondering how this massive squid ended up on the beach. Well, according to scientists, we don't really know. Some theories suggest that the squid may have gotten sick or injured and ended up washing ashore, while others think that it might have been attacked by predators. Either way, it's definitely not the kind of thing you want to stumble upon during your beach vacation. Number 19. Giant Jelly Blob Next up, we have some seriously bizarre news for you. Recently, a family was strolling along a beach in New Zealand when they spotted something that looked like it came straight out of an alien craft. I'm talking about a giant contracting creature that left these poor beachgoers absolutely stunned. And get this, it was still alive. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the heck is a contracting creature? Well, from what we can gather, it's some kind of sea creature that has the ability to shrink and expand its body. And let me tell you, this thing was massive. According to reports, it was about two meters long and had a strange, almost translucent appearance. I don't know about you, but I would not want to come across anything like that anywhere. The family that stumbled upon this creature was understandably freaked out. I mean, who wouldn't be? They immediately called in some marine experts to take a look, but they were just as baffled as the family was. Nobody seems to know exactly what this thing is, but some experts believe it might be a kind of sea squirt or tunicate. Whatever it is, it's definitely not something you see every day. So there you have it folks, a giant contracting creature that stunned a family on a beach in New Zealand. I think I'll stick to sunbathing in the backyard, thank you very much. Number 18. Giant Sunfish well, what do we have here? Only the strangest fish that these scientists have ever seen. Recently, a rare giant sunfish was found off the coast of California, and I will tell you right now, it's a sight to behold. This thing is so weird looking, it's almost cute. Almost. According to reports, this sunfish was around 2 meters long and weighed over a thousand pounds. And get this, its name comes from its habit of basking in the sun near the surface of the water. It's like the ultimate beach bum fish. Now, I'm admittedly no marine biologist, but I also have to admit that this sunfish is pretty darn cool. With its huge, round body and strange, almost cartoonish appearance, it kind of looks like something out of a Pixar movie. I mean, can you imagine swimming alongside this thing? It's like swimming with a giant aquatic balloon animal. The scientists who found the sunfish were absolutely stunned by its size and appearance, and can you blame them? They said they had never seen anything like it before. But despite its strange appearance, this sunfish is actually a pretty important part of the ocean ecosystem. They eat jellyfish, which helps to control their population and prevent them from overtaking the ocean. So there you have it folks, the strangest fish that these scientists have ever seen, and I have to say, I am very impressed. Number 17. Massive Sea Serpent If you thought sea serpents only existed in myths and legends, think again. 
We got a real life sea serpent story for you today and it's all about the giant oarfish and it's sensational. This species of fish can grow to be over 50 feet long, making it one of the largest fish in the sea. However, sightings of live oarfish are incredibly rare. They tend to live in deep waters and they only come up to the surface occasionally, which is why they've been dubbed sea serpents. Despite their size and serpent-like appearance, oarfish are actually quite peaceful creatures. They mostly just drift around in the deep sea, feeding on plankton and small fish. So if you happen to come across an oarfish during a deep sea dive or while out on a boat, don't be afraid, they won't harm you. Instead, take the opportunity to observe this magnificent creature in its natural habitat. The giant oarfish, a fascinating and elusive creature that reminds us that there's still so much we don't know about the ocean and the creatures that inhabit it. Number 16, one humongous sea turtle. A humongous sea turtle has been spotted on a beach in Spain, and boy is it a big one. According to reports, the turtle measures over 5 feet in length and it weighs around 350 pounds. That is a hefty turtle. It's unclear how the turtle ended up on the beach, but it's believed that it may have died of natural causes. Now, if you're wondering what kind of turtle this is, we got you covered. It's a loggerhead turtle a species found in the Mediterranean and other parts of the world. Loggerheads are known for their large heads, their powerful jaws, and their reddish-brown shells. Now back to this particular turtle. Moving a 350-pound turtle off the beach is no easy feat. In fact, officials had to call in a literal crane to lift the turtle and move it to a safer location. I guess that's one way to get a lift, huh? Sadly, as with a lot of sea creatures that end up on the beach, this turtle didn't survive. But it's an impressive sight to see such a massive creature up close. Number 15, Hairy Creature in the Philippines. For this one, we got a real mystery on our hands. A giant hairy sea creature has washed up on the shores of Dinagat Island in the Philippines, and people are scratching their heads trying to figure out what the heck it is. Measuring in at a whopping 6 meters long, this thing looks like it was coughed up by a giant cat. It's covered in hair-like fibers, which has led some people to speculate that it might be a new species of sea monster. Personally, I think it looks like something out of Cousin It's Worst Nightmare. Now, the real question is, how did this thing end up on the beach? Some people think it might have been a victim of a storm or an earthquake, while others think that it might have been sick or injured. But one thing's for sure, it's definitely not something you'd want to run into while you're out for a swim. As for what this creature actually is, well, that's up for debate. Some experts think it might be a giant squid or octopus, while others think it might be a type of marine mammal. Personally, I think it might just be a really hairy sea cucumber who got lost on the way to the spa. In any case, this bizarre creature has certainly captured people's imaginations, and it just goes to show that the ocean still has plenty of secrets left to uncover. Who knows what other strange and hairy creatures are lurking beneath the waves? I, for one, I'm not sure I want to find out. Number 14, Fanged Beach. It looks like Hurricane Harvey brought more than just some rain and wind to Texas. A fanged creature was found on a Texas beach after the hurricane. According to reports, the creature was found by a woman who was out assessing the damage done by the hurricane. But instead of finding broken trees and debris, she stumbled upon this creepy crawly. I don't know about you, but I think I would have preferred the broken trees. Now there's been some speculation about what this creature actually is. Some people are saying it's a fang-toothed snake eel, while others are saying it's a sea lamprey. But honestly, I think it looks like a rejected prototype for a Star Wars villain. But in all seriousness, it's important to remember that hurricanes can have some pretty devastating effects on wildlife. And while it might be tempting to poke and prod at a strange creature you find on the beach, it's important to leave it alone and let nature take its course. So, next time you're out exploring the aftermath of a hurricane, keep an eye out for any fanged creatures lurking around. Number 13, Basking Shark on Beach. It looks like Maine has become the latest stop for a Shark Week tour. A massive 26-foot basking shark washed up on a beach in Bremen, and let me tell you, this thing was huge. We're talking bigger than most of the boats I've been on. Now, before you start panicking and canceling all your beach trips, it's important to remember that basking sharks are actually pretty harmless. They're filter feeders, which means they mostly eat plankton, and they don't have any interest in nibbling on humans. But that doesn't mean they're not impressive creatures. 
Basking sharks are the second largest living shark species after the whale shark. And they're known for their unique feeding behavior, where they swim around with their mouths open to filter feed on plankton. Now I know at least some of you are thinking, but wait, isn't it dangerous to approach a shark like that? And normally you'd be right. But in this case, it was okay to get up close and personal. Researchers were able to examine the shark up close and collect some important data about these fascinating creatures. So next time you're out at the beach and you see a massive shark wash up on shore, just remember it's probably not as scary as it looks. And who knows, maybe you'll learn something new about these incredible creatures. Number 12, a rare mega mouth shark recently washed up on a beach in the Philippines, and let me tell you, this thing is a beast. This massive 15 foot long shark is one of the rarest species in the world, with only a handful of sightings ever recorded. And if you've ever seen a picture of a mega mouth shark, you know that its mouth is the stuff of nightmares. But don't worry folks, despite its intimidating appearance, mega mouth sharks are actually pretty harmless. They're filter feeders, which means they mostly eat plankton and small fish. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but wait, if I come across a mega mouth shark in the ocean, can I pet it? And while getting hurt by one is rare, it's important to remember that these sharks are still wild animals. So if you do happen to encounter one, it's best to give it plenty of space and just admire it from a safe distance. But let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer size and rarity of this mega mouth shark shark that washed up on the Philippines. I mean seriously, how often do you get to see a shark like this up close and personal? Who knows, maybe one day you'll get the chance to see one in the wild. Until then, let's appreciate this amazing sight while we can. Number 11, Sperm Whales. I have some sad news to share with all of you in this topic. Recently, 13 sperm whales washed up on a beach in Germany, and upon further investigation, it was discovered their stomachs were filled with a shocking amount of waste. It's truly disheartening to see the impact that human pollution is having on our planet and its inhabitants. The items found in the stomachs of these sperm whales included a fishing net, parts of a car engine, plastic buckets. They're a stark reminder of the damage we're causing. It's estimated that around 8 million tons of plastic waste enters the ocean each year, and this waste can have devastating effects on marine life, including entanglement and ingestion. But let's not lose hope, folks. We can all make a difference by making small changes in our daily lives to reduce the plastic consumption and properly dispose of our waste. Simple actions like reusable bags, bottles, and containers can go a long way in reducing the amount of plastic waste in our ocean. And let's not forget the importance of supporting organizations and initiatives that work towards cleaning up our oceans and protecting marine life. So let's take a moment to remember these 13 sperm whales and the impact of human waste on our planet. And let's commit to doing our part in creating a cleaner, healthier planet for all creatures, great and small. Number 10, Montauk Monster. They call it the Montauk Monster, and let me tell you, this thing was creepy. Speculation ran wild about what this creature could be. Was it a mutant from a secret government laboratory? An extraterrestrial being? A creature from the depths of the ocean? But alas, the truth is far less exciting than our imagination would like it to be. Experts eventually determined that the Montauk monster was nothing more than a water-degraded raccoon carcass. Talk about a letdown, right? But let's not be too quick to judge, folks. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of a mysterious creature washing ashore, but it's important to remember that there are still many undiscovered species out there waiting to be found. Who knows what other strange and unusual creatures are lurking beneath the waves or hidden away in remote corners of the world. Maybe the Montauk monster is just a glimpse of what's yet to be discovered. In the meantime, let's have a moment of silence for our poor waterlogged raccoon friend who was thrust into the spotlight for a hot minute. Rest in peace, Montauk monster. Number 9. Nightmare Anglerfish with Light Blue in Its Head Brace yourself for the anglerfish that washed up on a California beach recently. There's things like nothing you've ever seen before. Did you know that the anglerfish can live up to 25 years in the deep, dark depths of the ocean? These creatures are experts at living in extreme conditions, where the pressure is 100 times greater than the surface and the temperature hovers just above freezing. The anglerfish's unique feature is its bioluminescent lure, which glows in the dark depths to attract unsuspecting prey. And once the prey is within range, this monster fish uses its sharp, pointed teeth to snatch it up and swallow it whole. But the real shocker? In some species of anglerfish, the males are much smaller than the females, and they actually attach themselves to the female body for life functioning essentially as a sperm-producing organ. 
talk about bizarre. As for the California beach anglerfish, experts believe it to be a nightmarish deep sea dweller called the Pacific football fish. These monsters usually live at depths of around 3,000 feet, so it's truly rare and strange to see one of these washed up on shore. So there you have it folks, more facts about the anglerfish than you ever thought you needed to know. They might be creepy and otherworldly, but there's no denying that these creatures are some of the most fascinating and resilient on the planet. Number 8. Sharks with no livers Next up, we're talking about a bizarre discovery that's sure to give you chills. Imagine sharks without livers. That's right, the mystery still unfolding as four great white sharks washed ashore, completely liverless. Now, before you go pointing fingers, it turns out that these sharks were probably the victims of orcas, the notorious predators of the sea. You see, orcas have a thing for liver, and they're known to attack sharks just to get their juicy livers. Who knew orcas were such health nuts? But let's talk about the real question on everyone's mind. What happened to those livers? Well, it turns out that the orcas aren't interested in the rest of the shark, just the delicious liver. So they simply take out the liver, eat it, and leave the rest of the shark to wash up on the beach as sort of a fishy calling card. Now, you might be wondering, what's the big deal about the liver? Well, it turns out shark livers are like a buffet of nutrients, containing a high concentration of oils and vitamins that orcas just can't resist. So, while the orcas are enjoying their all-you-can-eat liver buffet, the great white sharks are left liverless, and it's a shark-eat-shark -shark world out there. So there you have it, folks. The great liver heist of the sea. Who knew orcas were such master thieves? Keep an eye out for any more fishy whodunits, and stay tuned for more oceanic mysteries. Number 7. Shark Head we got another shark-based whodunit on our hands. A dismembered great white shark head has been found washed up on a beach in New Zealand, and that's not all. Fins from different species of sharks have also been found on a beach in Florida. I think it's safe to say somebody out there has a bone to pick with these apex predators. And speaking of bones, the great white shark head in New Zealand was missing its teeth, indicating they may have been removed for a souvenir. It's a shame to see these magnificent creatures being disrespected and mistreated like this. Sharks play a vital role in our ocean's ecosystem, and without them, the balance of marine life could be thrown off. Let's talk about some positive stuff, like facts. Did you know that sharks have been around for over 400 million years? That's older than dinosaurs. And some species of sharks, like the Greenland shark, can live for over 400 years. That's older than the United States. Let's all do our part to protect these fascinating creatures and ensure that they continue to swim in our oceans for generations to come. Number 6. Conjoined Dolphin on March of 2014, a two-headed dolphin washed ashore on a beach in western Turkey, according to Dogen News Agency. A vacationing gym teacher discovered the conjoined dolphin, which scientists say is rare and shocking. Conjoined dolphins are a type of conjoined twins, where two individuals are born connected to each other. The exact cause of conjoined twins isn't fully understood, but it's believed to occur when a single fertilized egg fails to separate completely. This phenomenon is extremely rare in dolphins, as well as in other marine mammals. While there might have been some documented cases of conjoined twins in dolphins, this is one of the few instances where a dolphin was born with two fully formed heads. Scientists who examined the specimen believe that the conjoined dolphin did not not survive long after birth due to the condition. Conjoined twins in any species can face a variety of health issues, such as difficulty breathing or feeding, and their survival rate is generally pretty low. Although the conjoined dolphin is a rare and fascinating sight to see, it's important to remember that it's a reminder of the fragility of life in the animal kingdom. So let's appreciate the beauty and wonder of the natural world while remembering to respect and protect it for all of its inhabitants, whether they have one head or two. Number 5. Football Fish You won't believe what washed up on a US beach. It's not a mermaid, not a kraken, not even a Bigfoot with a bad hair day. It's a football fish. And no, that's not a fish that's into sports. It's an extremely rare deep sea creature with a luminous organ on its head that glows in the dark like a light bulb. It's not hard to see why people are calling it a monster. But let's not judge this fish by its appearance. It's actually a gentle giant that mostly feeds on shrimp and small fish. Although, I'll be honest, you don't want to come across one of these guys. The football fish is so rare that scientists have only seen it a handful of times, so finding one washed up on a beach is a pretty big deal. But before you start planning your next beach vacation hoping to catch a glimpse of one, let me warn you, they live in the deepest part of the ocean, so your chances of seeing one are about as slim as finding a mermaid. And if you're thinking about keeping one as a pet, don't even think about it. These fish can grow up to two feet long, and they got a mouth that can swallow prey larger than their own body. 
So unless you want to be getting eaten by a fish, I suggest you stick to a more traditional pet. Try a goldfish. Number 4. Sokolin Island Sea Wolf As if Russia didn't have enough mystery already, a strange creature was found on the Sokolin Island shoreline by Russian soldiers. It was a mutilated crustacean corpse, which has been dubbed the Sokolin Island Sea Wolf. This mysterious creature isn't a typical sight on the shorelines of Sokolin Island, and it's puzzled experts and locals alike. This area is situated near Japan, which begs the question, is this the result of an ancient Japanese curse? Or perhaps it's the fabled creature that's said to lurk beneath the depths of the ocean. But let's get serious for a moment. Some experts believe that the Sokolin Island sea wolf is actually a decomposed baleen whale. However, others believe that it could be a new species entirely. The truth is, we might never know what this creature really really is. One thing is for sure though, this mysterious creature has left quite an impression on the world. With its bizarre appearance and unusual circumstances, it's no wonder it's caught the attention of the media and the public. Number 3. Rock Ness Monster have you ever heard of the Rock Ness Monster? No, it's not a typo or a mispronunciation or a prank. It's a real thing, and it's not in Scotland, it's in England. The Rock Ness Monster was spotted at Hollingworth Lake, near Rockdale in Greater Manchester. And let me tell you, this creature is not your average lake monster. It's been described as a pike monster, with razor-sharp teeth and a scary appearance. But is it really a monster? Some say it could just be a huge pike, or a rare fish that has yet to be identified but others believe it could be something more mysterious, like a sea serpent or a dinosaur that somehow survived extinction. Either way, the Rock Ness Monster has captured the imagination of people in the area, and sightings of the creature have been reported for decades. Some even claim to have seen it as far back as the 1800s. So, if you're in the area and you're feeling brave, head to Hollingworth Lake and keep an eye out for the Rock Ness Monster. Who knows, you might just catch a glimpse of this mysterious creature and make history as the first person to document its existence. I don't like how I got that damn day Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. It's got a lot of attention. Let's make a Loch Ness Monster. That's my version of how this happened. Number 2. Japan Blue Whale What's this? Any guesses? I can tell you it's a rare blue whale calf that washed ashore on a beach in Japan. Now this might sound a bit sad, but let's focus on the good news. It's incredibly rare to see a blue whale, let alone a baby one. According to reports, the calf was found on a beach in Japan's Shimonoseki city, and experts are currently investigating the cause of death. It's a real shame, these majestic creatures are the largest animals on the planet, and they're just beautiful to see in the wild. Now let's talk about some fun facts about blue whales. Did you know that their heart is the size of a small car? Yeah, also their tongue alone can weigh as much as an elephant, which is pretty insane to think about. But back to this poor little calf, the blue whale population has been threatened by hunting and climate change, which is why it's so rare to see them these days. It's another stark reminder of how we humans are impacting the world around us. But let's not get too down, let's try and do all we can to help the environment and remember that there is still hope for these beautiful creatures if we take action. Number 1. Stabbed Thresher Shark Welcome to another episode of Nature's Frenemies, where today's topic is a deadly interaction between a swordfish and a thresher shark. In a shocking discovery, a massive thresher shark was found washed up on the beach with a swordfish bill protruding from its body. It's believed that the swordfish attacked the shark in a fierce battle, which ultimately proved fatal for the shark. Now, don't get me wrong, swordfish and sharks are both formidable predators in their own right, but this is like a scene straight out of a Hollywood action movie. We've got two real-life oceanic gladiators duking it out in a fight to the death. Who knew the ocean could be so brutal and dramatic? Scientists are amazed by this rare occurrence as it's the first documented case of a swordfish fatally injuring a thresher shark. It just goes to show that even the biggest and baddest of creatures of the sea aren't invincible. It's another reminder that nature's full of surprises, and we still have so much to learn about the ocean and its inhabitants. One thing's for sure though, I'm glad I'm not a thresher shark caught in the middle of a swordfish battle. That's a pointy situation I would not want to be in. All jokes aside, it's fascinating to see two top-notch predators and how they can have such a deadly interaction in the wild. Who knows what other epic battles are taking place in the ocean in depths right now. So, have you ever found anything weird at the beach? What's your favorite beach in the whole world? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.